Yeah. What was you about to say? Because <laughs> I'm thinking, so, I'm thinking some things. What are you about to say? <laughs> I'm thinking some things. Go ahead. So, so he wants her to go go get some groceries or whatever, but at the same time, he don't want her to take the car. Boot on my neck for going on years now. Uh, since 2021, I've been living through what has increasingly been a horrendous divorce. Now, let me say on the outset, to be clear, there is no infidelity, any kind of physical abuse at all on either side. And no, this was not uh, my choice. My then wife decided that she didn't want to be married anymore. And in the state of Texas, that is completely permitted. It's been the most heartbreaking experience of my life what I consider to be my deepest personal failure. And just so you know, my opinions on parenting and families have not changed. Um, I've always believed that children need a mom and a dad, that divorce is horrible. And I still believe that children need a mom and a dad and that divorce is horrible. But in today's legal system, my beliefs don't matter. In Texas, divorce is permitted when one party wants it, period. Pause so right. for well over a year, uh, so, and maybe he'll get into it. Maybe he'll get into it. I have to it. see more. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he'll get into it because I'm, I'm thinking like, all right, you, um, you, you get in a divorce and she just wants a divorce. Yeah. And no, nobody did anything wrong. She just wanted okay. a divorce. Just, I want, I want, I'm, I'm done. We now, have mind you, I, I get, I get, you, you know, family. Yes, yeah, especially if he, there's nothing that went wrong. Um, you said no abuse and no infidelity and that that type of stuff or whatever. Maybe find it. I don't know, but maybe it's something that um that she's seeking from him and she's been there long enough that she her ultimate goal. I'm just speculating, man. We didn't even watch the whole thing. But I I'm got just a quick question for you. Got what? Do you believe in divorce? I think so. Yes, me too. Okay, thank you. Because I do. Yeah, too. No two parties should not be in total um, disarray, disarray, and then down, especially if you have kids. So yeah. I know you but you try everything to yeah. stay together. You do yes. you give it your all because that's what we have to do. Yes, but I do believe in it. Okay, so we can get back. I just want yeah, to get, get your back. take on that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Well over a year, in the best interest, as well as physical safety of my children, we've decided to keep this issue private and to resolve it uh, privately with the appropriate attorneys, what have you, legal jargon. And all this one thing I want to be really clear about is certain. True North here is that my children are blameless, completely without fault. And so we decided to resolve these issues privately as it's in their best interests uh, both emotionally and physically, to do so. Now, the other issue is, and this is something that I've kept private for likely far too long, um, many other people knew about this. With demands and threats to use this information that they believe would be uh, so publicly embarrassing to me and my wife at a difficult time, that it could be used, knowingly putting my children in harm's way. So to those self-styled Christians, conservatives, and allies, well, not in my book. Now, if you find yourself, I don't want to get into details, so this is going to likely be the only time I have to address this or want to address this. If you're asking yourself, hey, did X person or did Y person know? The answer is likely yes, which will be made alarmingly clear as this process of discovery continues. Uh, and it also, by the way, makes me that much more appreciative of those who did know about this and in understanding the best interests of my family, my children, kept their word and used discretion. Uh, I can't thank you enough. Sincerely, I appreciate it. Won't forget it. It's, it's pretty simple. Um, I loved a woman so much that I married her. A woman who, despite all of this, I still love as the mother of my children. And she wanted something else for her life. That's not my choice. She simply wanted out, and the law says that that's how it works. Now, of course, look, I get it. There are multiple sides to every story, but one thing that is undeniable uh, in this case is that it's no one's fault but my own in that I picked wrong, and that's certainly not the fault of my children. 
pause. I agree. I agree. Yeah, you you have to uh, take fault in um, those in, in any divorce. You have to take some fault into it too. You can right, right. You can point the fingers at the other person for whatever they did to you know get you to this point or whatever, but you still have fault too, and you have to face that. And a lot of people don't want to face that. They don't want to say, "Oh yeah, you know what? It was my fault. I didn't do this at the beginning." Or I didn't lay the foundation like I should have or whatever. Yes, I can point to where well, I have nothing to emulate from. But still, it's your fault. Take responsibility. And it takes two. It's not just one. It's not a one-sided issue. Mm-hmm. It, it can't be. Yeah, It's not a one-sided issue. So mm-hmm. I go with the same thing that you just said. Yeah, uh, we, we may choose wrong. Yeah. And that's what we talk about a, a lot in different things and in relationships. We have to uh, choose better partners, mm-hmm. especially when you're serious. Yep. Choose better partners, somebody who really has your back and you have their back and you're trying to do this together and you want to stay just like this for real. Of course. Of course. Of course. That's it. All right. Well, yeah, let's hit. Let's hit. Let's, let's go. Yeah. I drew a boundary. Mm-hmm. I drew a boundary. No, no, you just did, you just did it. I drew a boundary of abusive and cruel. You were not taking the car. Because if you refuse to do wifely things, then I will go pick up the groceries. I've never the groceries. I'd be happy. Steaks, wood pellets, my grill. I know it's not a reasonable request, but I'll go do it. How about you first? Hillary, how do you respect me? Yes, how do you man? I'm a man. You see the love of us. Respect. No, no. How do you mean? No, you're not taking the car. You're not taking the car. You are not taking the car. Then I will ask them to take the car. Would you like me to ask? Oh, that's right. It's not about Stephen. Give it an Uber. Okay, Stephen, I can't. Feeling some constraints? Steven. Like, I can't Steven. go. I, listen to me. Listen to me. You want to walk out right now? Listen to me. I can't go to the gym. I can't go to my parents. I can't call my friends. I can't go, I can't be home. You're going to take the car and leave me here. Hillary, just think of how boxed in you've made me. What do you need me to pick up? I'll get it. I'll be back when I'm back. No, that doesn't work either. You'll be back when you're back. That doesn't work either. <laughs> pause. I, I yeah. understand the difference between uh, being uh, sane. To the pause it. You, you can pause it. What was you about to say? Because I'm thinking, so, I'm no, thinking some things. What are you about to say? That, I'm thinking some things. Go ahead. So, so he wants her to go, go get some groceries or whatever, but at the same time, he don't want her to take the car because he won't have access to the car. And if he need to leave, is that what I got from that man? Or maybe I'm that's what to, that's what I was. Little, maybe look, I, that makes it like sense. She, it looks like, like she's pregnant too, and that yeah, just yeah, she pregnant. Yeah, it seemed like um. I just had to point that out, but it seemed like he was exercising control. If she just wanted to go to the grocery store and he just made that big soliloquy talking about loving and all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. But this is simple. And we do get petty when, if we have divorce and things, people will get an act out of character. I will say that. Mm -hmm. But to me, that was just nonsense. That was, to me, that that was nonsense. He just wanted to show some type of authority in that situation, which, and, and, and it, it didn't warrant, not at all, not at all. That didn't make any sense to say, "All right, uh, I'll go get the groceries," and then she's. And I'd be like, "Okay, no, you can't. You gotta take an Uber to go get groceries." What? What? <laughs> what? 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 Uh, foolishness. We yeah. should have more than one car. I, 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 I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. <laughs> still though, no, still no. though. Come on, man. Still though. I mean, come on, man. That's so dumb. Mm-hmm. Let's hit it. Let's hit it. Keep it going. Let's keep the party going. The only way out of it is discipline and respect. If the only way out of it is we're at an impact. We are going to get past. Good. Because you can't have any discipline and respect. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. You throw your hand. You give up so easily. I don't give up so easily. You, know, you give up so easily. I just said the only way out of this is discipline and respect. You said, then we're at an impact. Steven, no, we are at an impact. Okay? I love you, but Steven, Steven, your abuse is sick. Your abuse Watch it. is sick. Watch it. Fucking watch it. I'm gonna let go, I'll get what you need me to get. And I, I need some space. We need to just talk and baby for a little bit. Okay? I love you. 
I love you very much. I don't love you. That's the big problem. I've never received love from you, and the fact is, when I go, look, I need you to do A, B, C, and D, you just be disciplined about it, you know, no. But I love you more than life itself. Okay. Put on some gloves. No. But I love you more than life itself. That's not fair. That's not fair, and it's disingenuous. Hillary, you're right, right in the past. Become someone, because you did, day in and day out, worthy of a life worth. No, not as a wife. I didn't say as a wife. Hillary, Hillary, come on now. I'm not going to engage. I'm not going to engage anymore. I'm going to go. I'll get texts me what you need. I'll get you what you need. I, I love you. I'm committed to you. Are you committed enough to do those things? I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to do those Are you committed enough to do those things? things? You're not committed to anything. You're not committed to anything. You just said I love you. I'm committed to that. Walk the dogs, put on some gloves. All right. Walk well. the dogs, put on some gloves. I'm committed enough to do uh, uh, so, so, like I said, this dude. That was enough <laughs> he for tried, me. Hey, so the, um, so the beginning. Yeah. It was just sit down, try to say, you know, we just, she just had an ulterior motive and all this other stuff and nothing went wrong, no abuse and all this. Man, come on. That's dumb. That is straight dumb and he's ignorant for it. I hope he see this. He probably yeah. won't. He probably won't. But it, the dude is dumb, man. What are you, I mean, come on. And man, if you condone in that type of behavior right That's there, dumb. that that makes no sense yeah. To, yeah. To, to talk to your spouse like that or to be that controlling we all saw it you mm -hmm. can't make an excuse for it mm -hmm. for that type of treatment and what well, was she doing she was she was being so passive and and trying to understand him it seemed like he had some things going on i don't know I, what his I, mental capacity is but it seems that way i i feel like this guy i think he has other issues yes that's what it's family saying. issues stemming back to his family and what he saw and the way he's reacting. So whatever he saw when he was growing up, if his mom and daddy was there or whatever, or, you know, whatever that situation was, he is portraying what he has seen. We emulate what we hate. Come on. We do that. And we don't try to do it, but we do it. It because, comes out. Yeah, it comes out because that's what you see. And now he's getting mad over nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what's the whole purpose of being mad in that situation? Zero. You know what I'm saying? It's like, so, I, so like, like, I feel like this guy had some other issues going prior to this. And remember, he's trying to make it look nice and do the little whatever because they're going through the divorce and she's probably going to take whatever, whatever. But however, she, she is stuck in there with you from all that abuse. And now she said, you know what? Done. Yes. I'm done. I, I don't bl I don't blame her. I don't blame her. I don't blame her. Kane, I don't either. And, and I that know that was just a be... ring video. That was just a ring. You don't know what's going on uh in the inside. That yes. was the outside ring video. That could have been nice. And it'll be, but it'll be people to other men to defend him and his behavior. How could you defend that? No one would. No one and call would. yourself a a, a a man, yeah. a provider. Yeah, 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 man. And don't nobody no. want to be in no situation no. like that where no. they got to tiptoe around the house. Who wants to be in there? Mm -mm. No. The the type of woman that you pick. So he was trying to find, I guess, quote unquote, look for. The, he picked the wrong woman. The, the woman that wasn't, uh, in his eyes, submissive in the sense where I'm controlling you and I tell you this, that, that, and this. They have their own brain, man. They can actually, yeah. uh, you know, do their own thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't you don't have to do things like that. Be a leader in the family. I get it. Yes. That's totally different. That's but totally different. Ladies, that is not, and men, that is not a form of submission right there. No. That is not. No. no. And that is not. That is not right there. Submission for what we're talking about or what I'm talking about is honor. It was honor. My wife submitting to me. I'm not married, but my wife submitting to me. I'm submitting to her. We are together. And as we talk about everything, mm -hmm. I'll be like, okay, well, I'm, I'm going to make this decision right here. 
Mm-hmm. This is what I'm talking about. We talking together. I'm not putting you down. I'm not controlling. We saw what he was doing. And then yep. beforehand, he tried to make it look good. I love my wife. I love my family. I want my privacy. But he was talking about it. But then that video came out. Yep. And what was that? Check this out, though. Go ahead. That same energy that he's displaying outside and probably inside of that house is the same energy his kids see. And it's a vicious cycle. Same type of energy. And it's it's probably best that they do separate themselves because that's a toxic environment for the kids. And definitely. Kid, it could be generational. Yes. After generational. Yes. That same cycle. Yes. Break the cycle. Yes. Break the cycle. And how do we break it? You you ha- they have to separate and do their own thing. That's daddy, and when I go over daddy, and this is I, that's dad, and that's mom. That's what they're gonna have to do. But we still teach them what right looks like, even though it yes. didn't work out because yes. of that. But them being together is definitely toxic for their whole family, for for them too and their kids. Yeah, they're gonna do the same exact thing to their uh, significant others. If it's a girl or boy, she she will be the person that's, you know, taking the brunt of or or attracted to those type of men that that act that same way because that's how our dad was acting to our mom. You see what I'm saying? Come on. But but, but that's that's that vicious cycle that you have to be able, just like you said, break it. You have to. You have to. I understand there's, you know, times for divorce and you say, we got to go our separate ways or whatever, but... You you emulate what right looks like for the child. And that's what you have to. You have to. Now all uh relationships are not perfect. We know that. Things happen. Yes. We were you know, when we were young, we try to we think that this is the right one or whatever the case may be, but you you know, people grow, grow apart, things of that nature. All of that happens. You well you said you could you said a person the kids can emulate right, but they can definitely and we know it. They can emulate wrong. And we don't want that to happen. That's why if you have to go, you go. But then that's when it's about the kids. I'm not concerned with who she talking to now because I got my son. I have my daughter who I'm concerned about, who I want the best for. Even if they break, and my final thoughts, they break or whatever, and they go their separate ways. He still, if he get his mind together, can support and be a father to those kids. I, I I agree. My final thoughts would be definitely if they do have to separate, right? They have they get their divorce and everything final, whatever. The kids are not used as pawns. Amen. So so the um the the uh, ex wife she can't be talking negative about him no matter what she's went through because that's not that's not what they need to hear. Same yes. thing when 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 they're with dad, he, they don't need to hear anything negative about their mama. That 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 doesn't even come into play. The only thing yeah. happens is the the uh, support them in that situation. You got to support those kids, and that's Amen. the uncomfortable truth. Amen, Roger. That he was cooking. 